One question I've always thought about is how do you know whether children are being as creative as they can be? Christmas time, it's holiday time. Presents for everybody. Let's look at the first page. Everybody with me? All right, the Sitting Machine Project. The first thing we want to work on is collect as many photos of sitting machines as you can find, no matter how wild or wacky or ordinary they seem. What if you don't have a sitting machine? You don't have a sitting machine? No. Is there anybody else that doesn't have a sitting machine? Oh, I have oh. A you have a sitting machine? Yes. Yeah. You'll see math, you'll see art, science, maybe even a little history. If machines weren't around when they invented the chair, then maybe they wouldn't call it a sitting machine because there were no machines around. How did you get the name sitting machine? Anybody want to guess about that? The advanced version of a chair. It's mainly a higher order of thinking of a chair. It's a creative person's version of a chair. That's one thing they learn in here, to let go your preconceived ideas. Maybe they called that a sitting machine before they called it a chair because they didn't know what to call it. And the sitting machine's a metaphor. It's a metaphor for let's look at our curriculum in a different way. What might we call that part of the sitting um, machine? The bottom? You can do it with a sitting machine, but you can do it by taking a standard and looking at it upside down, looking at it from the top, looking at it from the side, looking at it from upside down and backwards. How fat the legs are. Ah. Would it make a difference how far apart the legs are? So suppose we put the legs real close together in here. Would that make a difference to when you sat on that machine? Changing attitudes and changing people's sense of adventure creates a value. But did you ever look at the chair from that perspective? Yeah. Is that a work of art or what? How does that machine work? I never considered that in the end they're going to sit on these sitting machines. Are we each making our own chair? From your own design? Add cardboard? Yes. Yeah, but if we're going to call it a sitting machine, I think we should be sitting in it. Like, you build it and then we sit in it, yeah. Well, how's the cardboard going to hold us up? Well, I think you're <laughs> exactly. supposed to. Exactly. That's, that's the challenging part. Mm -hmm. 